Really, bud? What the fuck? Okay. What's going on, guys? My name is Senior Asset, and welcome to another Moto Vlog. So today, the reason why I'm making a Moto Vlog is to talk about the people that have influenced me into getting a motorcycle, and for the people who have influenced me to start Moto Vlogging. Um, so basically, when I started, um, actually, we'll do it this way. I started wanting a motorcycle roughly when I was a kid. Um, I always thought it was awesome. They were really loud. They go really fast. And back when I was a kid, you didn't have to wear a seatbelt. So, of course, back then, I was a kid. Didn't know any better on how well they saved me. And all that good stuff. So, that's kind of the reason why I wanted one. Plus, not to mention, uh, when I came out... Or, when I came... <laughs> when I came out. Yeah, okay. Uh, when I was born, uh, Terminator 2 was actually released the same year. So, I mean, I watched it growing up. And... If you guys have ever seen that movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger on a motorcycle with a shotgun, all I can say. That was the most epic thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Even to this day, there are movies that can't even come close to that. And you're going to get hit by a car, bud. Oh, gee. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much the reason why I've always wanted a motorcycle since I was a kid. People have influenced me. Uh, my best friend Dale got a motorcycle. He, he had his motorcycle license for quite a while, and he just got his... Uh, his first bike about four or five years ago, and uh, of course I was jealous because, you know, I wanted one, and uh, I was too much of a pussy to go because I have this uh, terrible fear of failing, and I think everybody has that, so uh, that kind of pushed me away because some people said it was hard and all that stuff, so um, pretty much I watched moto vlogs, I watched people do the MSF course in the United States for months. And when I say I watched it for months, I seriously sat down and I watched videos every day for like eight hours. Just motor vlogs and just overall people riding motorcycles, just really enjoying it. So it got me really into it. Um, Cycle Cruiser, he put out a video of, uh, actually he put out a whole bunch of videos really in all honesty. It's kind of hard just to pick one, but he picked out ones that were good for beginners and all that stuff. So I watched a lot of Cycle Cruiser. Then I found uh, Jake the Garden Snake. And I found uh, Chase on Two Wheels. I found uh, Yummy. I found a whole bunch of big people. Obviously, you guys know those names because they are very big. Those are like the juggernauts of, uh, of Moto Vlogs. So um, really, when I got into Moto Vlogs, I, I wasn't so much looking for the big guys anymore. I was looking for the small guys, the guys that I personally could relate to, because you know, I mean, you can relate to Chase and Jake and all of them, because they're still human, but yeah, it's kind of different when you have a couple hundred thousand people compared to a couple hundred, right? So I found people like Steve Light, who is here in Canada, I found 6'4 Honda, he's a big guy as well, uh, <laughs> that was a literal thing and also a physical thing, because that man's fucking huge! Um, so yeah, I found those guys. Those guys are both in Canada. And just watching people from where you live in the same country, that's really exciting. Because you, you watch people that are down in the United States, and that's pretty much all they are. That and uh, that in Australia. I watched Lead Pin. Fuck that man. I love him so much. And also, Lead Pin, if you ever see this, definitely, man. Uh, I watched all your videos about when you were having a hard time with a girl in Sydney. And definitely, I feel for you, man. Um, I don't really get choked up and stuff like that, but man, when I was watching your first video and you were just pulling your heart out, oh man, I have never felt so much like a little bitch and I just wanted to reach out and give you a motherfucking hug. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely keep your head up and those guys are running for the bus. Good stuff. I don't have to do that anymore. Fuck you guys. Fuck Metro Transit. Oh, Metro Transit. Fuck you all. Um, but yeah, I started watching off those guys, got really into it, um... And yeah, I just kind of took it off from there. So, um, yeah. So this video was... Uh, I actually stole this from uh, one of the other motor vloggers I watch. His name is King R1. Or R1 King. I will fix that in a second. So yeah. Uh, definitely go check him out. He's awesome. He just started just like Mace. But uh, he rides an R1. Which uh, beat my 250 out like a little bitch. And yeah. It's just really fun to watch. He's a cool guy. 
and uh, definitely go check them out for sure. And also all the other guys I mentioned, Yummy R6, uh, Chase on Two Wheels, Jake the Garden Snake. You get a shout out from a little guy, a little guy on East Coast of Canada, which is cold as fuck. Because it is so cold right now, I should fucking buy a pair of long johns and strap that fucker to me because holy god damn it, I can tell that fall is here. And all the trees are starting to die. That's depressing. Yeah, by my place, they're all fucking starting to wilt, change colors. I mean, it's beautiful, but at the same time, it's like a big old-fashioned fuck you. I want to drive one of those so bad. I want to do some good old-fashioned Roger Rabbit, run over some motherfucker with it. Oh, guy dropped his shit. Fuck, I'm just going to kick this fucker in neutral. I don't give a shit. Oh, lordy, lordy, because that clutch is heavy. That's a heavy clutch. Woo. And I saw my tank bag, which looks goofy as fuck. You going to turn it? There you go. You make your 21 bucks an hour. Good stuff, buddy. Yeah, 21 bucks an hour to stand there and turn a sign. I like it. Plus, not to mention they need to work right into a KFC. Yeah, yeah. KFC. We're going. Oh, we're going. Dodge, what are you going to do? You make me nervous. Oh, bud. Bye bye. Ah! Break! Break! <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically the reason why I started mud vlogging. Um. I want to hear why you guys started. If you haven't, what's stopping you? I'm obviously money. <laughs> if you can't afford a motorcycle, can't afford the the camera, can't afford the microphone, that's probably a good indication of why you can't. But I'm not talking about I'm not talking about um, monetary reasons. I'm talking about physical reasons. If you had all the money in the world, what would stop you from doing motor vlogs? Is it the uh, oh, buddy? Riding a skateboard with a hat on, you so gay, oh fuck! Uh, yeah, what's stopping you? Is it, uh, the, um, I guess it would be the, uh, are you okay? You're turning around, fucking passing you, but I don't give a fuck. Okay, uh, I can't find the word. God damn. Uh, vulnerability. Is it because you're vulnerable? You pull your heart out in a video and you're scared what people might think? But, I mean, you, you can't go through life expecting people just to... Or look up and fucking expect everybody to like you and stuff, right? You gotta give your opinion. Your opinion matters. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys are holding back from. Or why. <laughs> why you guys started in the first place. Oh, look at that bike. It's so pretty. So pretty. Yeah. So, oh, my fuck. That pollution bot. God damn. There we go. That guy right there is practicing for skiing. Look at him. He's on the slopes now, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep going, bud. You keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yeah, let me know uh, the reason why you guys started motor vlogging or the um, the reasons why you're not. And let's see if we can overcome them because I want to see some new motor vlogs. I want to see some people that have some talent. Some people talk about random shit and do random stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. We're going. All right, guys. See you guys soon.